guys, this is Carlos Graves from droiddog.com and today I'm going to show you the Super D ROM. It is a really, really fast ROM that I love and I use on my G1. Uh, but it can be also used on the MyTouch 3G. Um, I'm going to show you what is cool about it, what's bad about it, uh, and I'm going to show you how to get it on your G1 or MyTouch 3G. So I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, here is the ROM I was telling you about, the Super D. It's not going to look like this when you get it. Uh, this is the... I have like a wallpaper of my own. I have the um, beautiful widget on there. Um, if that's what it's actually called, I'm not saying it's beautiful. Although it is pretty beautiful, if I may say. Um, yeah, but I have done some customization to it. Um, you'll see how you will get it when I show you how to install it. But as you can see, it's really, really fluid and fast. What makes it so fast um, is that it has... If you know what the 10 megabyte hack is... Um, let me first adjust the font size so you can see it. Let's go to 12. Um, if you type in free in the termi terminal emulator, you can see how much ROM you have, or how much RAM you have. Sorry, I'm thinking about ROMs right now. Um, this comes with 10 extra megabytes of ROM. Um, there is a hack you can do for all Cyanogen ROMs where you can um, have 10 extra megabytes of RAM. This comes with it without having to do that hack, so that is that is a nice feature. The biggest pros of this ROM are very, very simple. Um, Built-in semi-eclair theme, you can kind of see the eclair app drawer swiper upper thingy. I'm not sure really what the technical term for it is, but that's what I call it, so that's what you should call it too. The, uh, the app drawer swiper upper thingy. We need like an, like a, never mind. I was gonna say an abbreviation for that, but then that, that would make me think. Um, <clears throat> what makes it cool is it comes with seven, no, sorry, five screens. As you can see, it'll go home. One middle, middle. So there's two on each side and then one in the middle. Um, that's really cool because some, usually you have to go into uh, there and cook more and then but that's also a con about this, because you can't, you can only have five screens. You can't limit it to three. I mean, you could only fill up three if you wanted to. <clears throat> but you can't have more than five. Um, which for me, five is plenty. I really don't know what to use with these two extra screens. But, um, yeah, five, five is fine for me. Oh, camera almost fell down. Speed is a big factor. Um, what makes it so fast, it, it, besides the 10 megabyte hack, is... It has uh, Dwayne's, uh, if you don't know him, he's an XDA developer. Uh, it has his fat, it has his newest ROM uh, combined with the kernels that Cyanogen uses. Uh, he's also an XDA developer known for his really fast ROMs. Um, so they combine Cyanogen's kernels and... Um, this sounds like a cereal. Cyanogen's kernels and um, Dwayne's ROMs to make them super fast, because Dwayne has a reputation for fast ROMs also. Um, and that just makes it super fast, uh, why, which is why it's called Super D, Super Dwayne, because it's, it's super. Some bad things about this, uh, worth noting, not bad for me, um, because of the 10 megabyte hack, uh, playing 3D games on the device will be slow. So if you're a big gamer, this is not the right ROM for you. Um, also, um, it is not, it doesn't support an X, uh, EXT4 partition on your SD card. Um, if that matters to you, um, doesn't matter to me because I only use EXT3. Um, cool thing about this, this isn't written anywhere, but the battery life for me has been really good. I've been getting at least 9 to 10 hours of battery a day, so I can go out and do stuff and have my phone with me, either on standby or using it, and it'll, it'll last me until I get home. Um, so with that said, let me show you how to get this ROM. All right, first what you're gonna wanna do is boot into recovery. So you're gonna wanna power off. I will cut this part out of the video, save you the hassle. All right, now that we're off, we are going to press the power and the home button at the same time until it vibrates. So if you listen. You can hear it 
vibrated, the screen turn on. You can let go, as I already let go, and let you know how to boot into recovery, I hope. Um, and notable thing, if you haven't figured it out already, um, you have to be rooted to have ROMs on your MyTouch 3G or G1. Uh, my build of my uh, recovery is Aminra's 1.5.0. Don't, doesn't matter if it says Dream right there for you if you're on a MyTouch 3G. Um, it won't say Dream. It'll say Magic. Um, so what you're going to want to do first is make sure, before you do anything, make sure you have the Super D ROM. Which is right there. Super D 11X dot zip. So after you found out, you're going to wipe. First you're going to just do the first one. I don't know if you can really see it with the highlight on there. It's going to be uh, wipe data slash factory reset. Don't worry if you have an unlocked phone. This will not lock it back up. Uh, I have an unlocked phone running on AT&T right now and I do this all the time. It has no effect so don't worry. Uh, so it says press home to continue. Press home. And it will wipe your phone. Data wipe complete. So you go back. Uh, oh, I'm already back, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm only looking through the camera here, so... Excuse the blunders. Uh, and then you're gonna go to wipe again, and then you're gonna wipe SD EXT partition. Which is the middle one. Do that. Press home to continue. Click. That's really... It, don't, it doesn't matter if it's really quick, that doesn't mean it didn't work. It worked. Uh, so then you're gonna go back, and then partition SD card, and you're gonna want to repair SD EXT. Um, like I said, it doesn't support ext4, so you're never going to be using that. Uh, but you're going to want to repair the ext. There we go. So now is the moment of truth. Now is where we go to flash zip from SD card. Uh, I will put the link to download this ROM in the sidebar, so you can have it, so you can follow my steps. So you're going to want to select Super D, click it home to confirm. Okay. Install from SD card complete. Cool, cool, cool. So now you're going to want to reboot your phone. Okay, um, here's your ROM. You're going to... I'm going to skip all the steps, but um, it's the basic setup for any Android phone. I'm going to skip all the create now, next. I just want to show you what the home screen is going to look like when you first turn it on. Not when you first turn it on, but when it first, first boots up. Okay, here it is. Um, like I said, it's got the five home screens. So there it is. Um, there is your oops, Super D um, ROM. Freshly flashed, has landscape, as you'd expect. Um, everything works. As you can see, like I was saying before, I'm unlocked on at and I so. uh, hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I will see you guys next time.